Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Parim Alam Ramanathan. I'm one of obstetrician and gynecologists and infertility specialist and I have been trained in UK and I'm here in India for the past few years. Today I'm going to talk about the purpose of early pregnancy scan, why we need to go to the doctor and what the doctor is going to find out. Of course pregnancy is a thrilling moment, you want to know what's exactly happening. Once you get pregnant, you have to approach your doctor and often the patient is in a hurry to have a scan but normally we can't find anything before six weeks of pregnancy. What I mean by six weeks is from the last menstrual cycle, uh, once the period gets delayed, the pregnancy can be confirmed in four weeks. I mean after 20 to 30 days. But at that time, scan will not reveal where the pregnancy is and what's happening to your pregnancy. You have to be patient. These two weeks is going to be really painful for you. You want to know whether everything is going all right. You might have some little cramps, you might have a little spotting, but nothing to worry. But you might, if you have a lot of pain, then of course you need to go to the doctor. Normally, the earliest scan we can do is at six weeks. But sometimes, if you have a previous history of ectopic pregnancy, if you had any previous complications, or if you have an IVF pregnancy, the scan could be done earlier. The only way to confirm what is happening is to wait for the baby's heartbeat to be present. In the first scan, it can be done in many ways. It can be done internally, what we call transvaginal scan, or it can be done through the abdomen, what we call transabdominal scan. With the transabdominal scan, you have to fill the bladder. I mean, you shouldn't go urine at least for at least for a couple of hours. Sometimes this can be really stressful because um, in pregnancy, you have difficulty in emptying your bladder, you feel you want to go to urine often. Internal scan is slightly better than abdominal scan, but of course it's a private procedure. Some women might feel uncomfortable with it. So what happens is you don't need to fast, but you have to just drink some water, go to the clinic, and the doctor before doing the procedure will explain, but here are some tips. Be patient, don't be in haste. Of course, sometimes the scan doctor will not be able to tell the findings immediately. Sometimes you might have to wait whether it's a one baby or whether it's two babies. And where the pregnancy is, is it in the uterus or is it outside the uterus? When a pregnancy is outside the uterus, it's called an ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy is very rare. It can happen around 1 in 100 pregnancies, but it can be quite serious though. So if you have any abdominal pain or if you're not feeling well, you have to go to the doctor immediately to make sure you don't have an ectopic. Not all women will have ectopic. Sometimes you might have a little bit of pain here and there, even in normal pregnancy. So don't take chance. If you're not feeling well, go to your doctor. And during the pregnancy scan, uh, the first one thing to establish is where the pregnancy is, I told you. If the pregnancy is inside the uterus, you have to check how many babies are inside, whether it's one baby or whether it's two babies. And within the sac, the first thing what we find is called a yolk sac. Yolk sac is a lunch box for the pregnancy. It supplies the food to the baby before even the baby develops. After the yolk sac, what we see is called fetal pole. Fetal pole is nothing but a small baby inside. And you have to wait for the pulsations to happen, which is called fetal heartbeat. So in the, ra in the sequence, first what we see is a sac, second is a yolk sac, third is a fetal pole, fourth is a fetal heartbeat. And what the doctor measures is called a CRL. CRL is nothing but the length of the baby. And what we do is we calculate the, the due date of the pregnancy based on the last menstrual cycle or also based on the baby's measurement. Most of the women do not know when the pregnant, when the pregnant period was. So what they, we have to do is if the patient is not sure about the period date, we usually measure the length of the baby and we give the due date based on the measurement of the length of the baby. But sometimes one scan will not tell the answer. The key is patience. Be patient. Only the repeat scans, maybe in a week or two, might tell the answer. So always, you can't make a conclusion with one scan or one visit to the doctor. Sometimes you might have pregnancy which is not developing, which might be a miscarriage or in layman term is called abortion. Even for that, we need to be patient. There are certain scan criteria which have to be met before even we tell the pregnancy is not progressing. The most important thing is 
the pregnancy is outside the uterus, the ectopic pregnancy is a discussion on itself, which I'll be dealing with later. And another condition is called molar pregnancy. Uh, the baby doesn't develop. The only the molar tissue, I mean the placental tissue alone develops, is called molar pregnancy. Molar pregnancy is uh, sometimes be difficult to identify if it's a partial molar in scan, but if a complete mole, we have a typical picture in scan which can be identified. So, uh, with regard to the early pregnancy scan, I mean, uh, I have few more things to tell in my next uh, um, next talk, which I'll talk more about the miscarriage and followed by ectopic. If you have any queries, kindly visit us. My center is in Perungudi. It is um, in uh, Old Mahabalipuram Road, otherwise commonly called as OMR. Uh, and Perungudi is the beginning of OMR and uh, you're uh, happy to contact me anytime by email or calls. And thank you so much for your patience. Bye.